Hey everybody, it's Stan aka Vimlossus, and today we are back with another review from the Thor Ragnarok Marvel Legends Wave uh, that just recently came out. Uh, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Nine Realms Warrior. Uh, now, when I first saw the wave, you know, if you saw yesterday's review, you saw that I wasn't too happy when it first came out. Um, but after opening these guys up, and especially this one, man, this character is so kick ass. Uh, I don't know what it is about him. I don't know if it's his body proportions, it's all the weapons, his mean ass look, whatever it is. But I really, really, really like this character, and I'm so glad um, that I ended up picking up this wave. Uh, so, this is the Nine Realms Warrior, uh, more Ares, the god of war. Uh, you know, the complete badass that just likes to kill stuff and, and fight whenever he gets a chance. Uh, so, today we're going to take a look at him. We'll go over all the usuals, the sculpting, the paint, the articulation, the price point, and then overall. And uh, let's take a look, a little more detail, and see what we got. All right, now what's in the box? This character comes with just a ton of accessories. Uh, for a big warrior like he's supposed to be, obviously we expect him to come with some cool weapons, and that he does. Um, so it's no disappointment there. We're kind of getting up to the higher level type stuff. Because you usually don't see this type of accessories with your Marvel Legends um, or Black Series, things like that. So this comes with actually quite a bit. So first we'll take a look at, obviously he comes with Hulk's left arm for the Builder figure. And Hulk's incredibly huge hammer. If you've ever wondered what a large hammer should look like, now you know. Because this is what it should look like. I mean, this thing is massive. It's like a, it's like an engine block. Um, but that's for the Hulk build a figure. We'll go over that a little bit later. He also comes with this gigantic battle axe, which whew, looks like it would hurt something fierce if you got hit with that bad boy. Uh, this, all of these weapons and and everything, and, you, and this is going to be kind of redone from all the other reviews. But this whole line is just amazing. Uh, the details painted and sculpted in here. I mean, look, they got all these little scuffs from this guy battling it out and duking it out with whoever. Um, but his axe is really cool. Nice little silver paint on the end. The rest is just done in the black. Comes with a little knife, you know, for when the big weapons fail. He can always pull this little thing out and stab you in the eyeball and kind of finish the job off. Again, some really nice sculpting detail on here for such a small piece. You wouldn't expect as much, but... I don't know if you can see right in here, they've even sculpted in some little battle damage on the on the end of the knife here, which is really kind of cool to see. Handle's got this kind of wrap on it, it's a little gold here. And then the big monster. Man, you thought the axe was big. This sword is 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 huge. And again, very nicely painted and detailed and sculpted. All these scuffs and and, and dings in here. You can tell he has been beating the hell out of somebody or something. Uh, either way, I don't want to get hit with any of these, especially this thing. Man, that's just that's just nasty looking. All right, going over sculpting uh, again. Hasbro has has killed it again with the sculpting on on in this wave, uh, and this figure is definitely no exception. Uh, great detail all throughout. Especially love this helmet here. You can see all these little ridges. That were sculpted in here. Now they could have just painted this, uh, but they didn't. They actually sculpted all of that in, and man, that looks amazing. Everywhere throughout this character, you see some really nice sculpting going on. The hand wraps. There's little damage points all throughout here, which is so cool to see. Because again, this is a character that's a warrior. He's supposed to be out there just fighting things and battling things, and he definitely looks battle scarred, uh, which is really nice. Now these boots. Or these leg pieces, to me, they kind of look like a reuse from the um, uh, the Allfather Builder figure. It looks like the Allfather legs here. Uh, but again, they're nicely done. Some nice sculpted lines in here. Kneecaps. Or kneecaps pieces. Whatever they may be. Um, but again, really nice little sculpted lines in here. Or sculpted little dots, which they didn't have to do. They could have just painted those on. But instead, they're all sculpted. Um, nice little veins popping out. Now, the helmet is removable, so if we take the helmet off, we can see the sculpting detail on the face. Now, I don't know, this doesn't remind me of anybody, but man, great sculpt again. I mean, just look at all this detail in here, and even in the hair. 
more sculpted lines, which they could have just painted and probably gotten away with it, but they didn't. They kind of went all out on this. I'm really liking the level of detail that they're putting into their sculpting. So, great job once again on the sculpt. On the back, you got all of these cool little kind of dots here. The wraps around his waist. Everything just looks really nice. So, sculpting, we're going to give that, again, another 10 out of 10. You guys are seeing a theme starting here with this with this wave and the sculpting. All right, now going over paint. Uh, again, er, a good job with the paint. I mean, not fantastic. And this figure really frustrates me when it comes to the paint. Because right, you look down here on these leg pieces, and they look great. They got this silver, but they have this black wash over it, which gives it this nice, you know, battle damage look, which is what we expect. But then you get up to the pants and the shirt and the skin and even the helmet no black wash on it everything is now just really clean even down here to his knife sheath i mean got some great detail in the paint but then everywhere else is clean so it's like did he just charge into battle with his feet first and kind of clean everything else or does he just not give a damn about these pieces and never decides to clean them but everything else he does clean i don't know um but you know he's black the white symbol up here on his chest is painted really nice and crisp and clean. Um, no paint bleeds, no paint spreads. Nice lines. Great detail there. The silver paint here and all the little buttons. Uh, pretty good hit. Again, I don't see any misses. There's a little one there, but nothing even noticed. So, And even the dots here on his gauntlets. Painted really nice, so he's got a mix between the black and the brown. Let's see, the brown does have a little bit of black wash on here. But, again, nowhere else. Why not do it throughout the entire character? The entire figure? I don't get it. It frustrates the hell out of me. Taking a look at his head. Really nice skin tone. Uh, he's a little darker uh, than most of your skin tones. Um, but, under his face, his eyes kind of have this white sheen to him. Which is really kind of cool. It looks great in photos. But then they also, like around the eyes and pieces here where it would see through the helmet, they did give another little uh, um, a black wash, which, again, just frustrates me. Why only in certain pieces and not the entire figure? Ah, it's so irritating. Um, but that looks really, really nice. So, and why can't it? So when you put the helmet on, it just looks great. So for paint, I'm going to have to give... Uh, I would give it an 8, but just because it frustrates the hell out of me that it only did the black wash on some of it and not all of it, I'm bumping this down to a 7. And now going over articulation, I'm going to go ahead and take the helmet off because it doesn't really affect the head movement. You would think it would, but the head doesn't move that well. We'll go over that here in a second. But articulation, it's better than the Thor that we did looked at yesterday just because he has a ball joint here. So he gets a little better range of movement. Um, but there's some pieces that, again, frustrate the hell out of me. And this character could be really awesome, but... Uh, uh, uh. All right, so going on articulation, he can look down a little bit. You see he can bury his chin into his, his neck there. It's about as far as it can go. Now, looking back, that's it. He's really kind of always glancing down. I don't know, because they made his neck so big and muscular that... It just doesn't go back and they didn't cut anything out. So that's why I say even with the helmet on, it doesn't hinder it. And that's about as far back as it'll go. So in the shoulders, we've got this little hinge joint here. You can come up all the way. I mean, man, that's fantastic. You can obviously spin around. Upper arm rotation. Single jointed elbows. And because of the wraps and the way that this is sculpted, that's it. That's as far up as it goes. But, you know, he's carrying these big-ass weapons, so really, how high can you lift them? No lower arm rotation. Wrist spins around with the hinge. Now, moving on to the waist, he does have that ball joint in there, which gives you good crunch forward. Great crunch back. And because it's a ball joint, we now actually get some side-to-side -side motion, which we did not see with the Thor. Ball joint in the legs. So, oh. Not supposed to happen, but you know. So they come out pretty good distance. 
You see, it's kind of finicky the way it wants to spin around and uh, man, why did they destroy this character? It could be so cool. Anyway, so it doesn't kick forward that far on either leg. It's, it's just the way the pin's put in there. Doesn't kick back much. Does have upper leg rotation and as you can see the ball joint likes to move so you can really get that and that would be kind of painful. I double jointed knees that come up pretty far and that's pretty good. That's probably the best range of motion we got. I like the way the knee pad just sits in the middle so it kind of covers the joint in there. No lower leg rotation. Leg can move down. The foot can look down that far. Move up not too much, but he does have ankle pivot. So the articulation is, is good in points. You know, in the waist, you get some really great range of motion. Then you get down to the legs and they, and, and they can't really move out. The single joints in the elbows frustrate the hell out of me again. So articulation, we're gonna have to give him uh, a seven just for these limited points of articulation. All right, price point, it's Marvel Legends figure. It's 20 bucks. I think you get a really good value for $20 for these Marvel Legends, especially this character because he comes with so many accessories. I always like to put this in here. So for 20 bucks, can't go wrong, 10 out of 10. All right, so overall, man, they were really close. This could have been an absolutely amazing figure. Uh, the body type, the weapons, just the overall look, the sculpt, all that just looks amazing. But man, they screwed the pooch on quite a bit of it. You know, with their artic limited articulation in some spots, um, the lack of paint wash throughout that's kind of only half and half. I mean, how many times did you, did I say frustrates the hell out of me in this review? All right, so any figure that frustrates you that much, not a great figure, but I still really like this character for some reason. I don't know why. It's limiting. It's frustrating. Um, it annoys the piss out of me at times, especially when I'm trying to pose him and get him in the spots and he just wants to fall apart or limit articulation won't let me put him in the poses I want to. Uh, so overall, I only have to give it a seven. And that's just because of those limitations in the articulation and the paint washes not throughout. Uh, but this could be an absolute amazing figure. Now, does that mean I don't like taking pictures of him? Hell no. I love taking pictures of this guy because he just looks so mean and so badass. Uh, so, overall, not bad. Missed the mark a little bit. Could have been amazing, but wasn't. Hopefully, they'll redo him and kind of take some of these things uh, to heart and, and give us a better one in the future. All right, so come back. Check us out tomorrow. We'll be going over another character from this wave. And as always, head on over to Ac Exclude Collective. Sorry. Head over to ExcludeCollective.com to check out a full picture gallery of this guy right here.